Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Steph. I'm going to be taking you through a short little stretch series for today. We're going to be focusing more on through our upper body, our neck and our thoracics. Just a quick little series of stretches. So if you've been sitting at a desk, you're feeling a little bit tight and everything's a bit sore through that upper body, this will be a really nice way to open up through those areas. If you have a pillow or a block or a roller, that would be really good. I'm going to use my roller as a head support. So just grab something nearby that you can use as a little head support so we can get into the stretches. Just modify as you need to. If you're feeling a bit sore in a particular area and a stretch isn't working for you, I'm happy for you to change it. That's absolutely fine. Let's go straight into it, guys. We're going to start by lying on our left side. So grabbing onto your prop that you're going to lift your head up with. I've got my fun roller here. Lying on your left side to start, your head will be supported by your prop. You want your knees bent and your arms just straight out in front of you. And then all we're gonna do is a nice little arm opening. So bring your right hand towards your temple and then you're gonna roll your chest back so your elbow tries to go backwards behind you. As you breathe out, close that arm back to the center and then bring that hand back on top of the other one. So you go right hand or fingers to temple, open through the shoulder, elbow rolls back, and then come back in and close. So we're kind of opening through our upper body like a book. You're allowed to roll your head back as much as you feel able to. Okay. If you're feeling really tight through your chest and shoulders, this is going to feel like a really nice stretch for you. If you're feeling mobile, you might not feel a whole lot happening, but that's okay. It's just good to move in different ways. Excellent, guys. Just break up the day with some stretches. We're going to go for another 10 seconds here. If you feel like you want to hold a particular section of the stretch, that's a really good option. You've got four, three, two, and one. Next up, we're going to lie on our back. So just move your pillow out of the way. Roll onto your back for me here. Okay. Bring your elbows nice and wide. So it's like we're opening up through our chest. We want our arms bent at kind of like a 90 degree angle. All you need to do here is gently rock your knees to one side and look the opposite way. And then you're gonna change it over, knees to the other side and look the opposite way to the knees. You might not have a wall in the way, but I do. So my knees aren't going as far as I'd like them to. And we're just taking our time. So I've got my arms in line with my shoulders, moving through your knees and your head if you can. Nice deep breaths, breathing out and in through the nose. This one's going to loosen up that lower body a little bit, but also open through the chest for some of you, the way that our arms are here. We've got another five, four, three, two, and one, back to the center. So then for our next one, we're just gonna sit up here. And before we do the other side arm openings, we're gonna bring our hands behind our backs to see if you can interlace your hands and then see if you can lift your arms up just slightly, keeping your chest tall. So we'll go up with those arms and then down with those arms. Really easy, up with the arms and then down. Your arms might not go very high and that's okay. If you're feeling super flexible, maybe try and flip your hands around so your palms face out behind you. That's pretty challenging, especially if you're not super bendy. And if you can't really grab your hands together, I would probably grab like a towel to hold on to between those hands. It's a little bit easier. You just got 10 more seconds here. Pretty intense through the shoulders. You've got four, three, two, and one. Let's grab our pillow again. We're gonna lie over on the other side. Pillow or roller, whatever you've got, or block. Lying over on our right side this time with our knees bent, okay? Bringing our arms just straight out in front of us. And now we do our arm openings or book openings. So bring your left fingertips to your temple, roll your head and shoulder backwards, and then come back to the center and reach them out in front again. Hand towards your temple, roll it back nice and gentle, and then back to the center and reach that arm out again. Good. See how far you can roll your upper body backwards? And I would, if you're not sure where to look, 
try and follow with your eye gaze your left hand and your left arm so your eye gaze follows that left side that's moving remember you can hold a position if it's feeling quite good for you to hold it there and we've got another 10 seconds here or so beautiful and four three two and one good back into the center now we're going to roll on our tummy we're almost there a little roller out of the way so onto your tummy this time and i want you to make like a bit of a diamond shape with shape with your fingers my elbows they're going to be in line with basically my chin so my elbows are out a bit wider and eyes are down towards the floor okay this one's hard because you got to look at the screen and listen to me as well as look down so then all we're going to do is start to lift just through your head and then your chest just a tiny bit, pushing my hands into the floor. But keep your head down and you'll get a bit of a stretch through your upper back and then we lower. So peel the base of your skull up to the roof and then lift your chest just a tiny bit and then back down again. Okay, just a little lift and then back down. Base of the skull lifts up and then that upper back and then down. So think about trying to lift one bone at a time through your spine with your head leading the way and you don't want to look up for these ones. Once you've got the hang of it, do a few more without looking at the screen. Your arms are going to push down to help you as well here. We'll go for another 10 seconds. Okay. And three, two, and one. Good job. One final stretch. Let's come into a child's pose. So you're going to sink your hips all the way back. Reach your arms forward nice and long and head to the floor. Child's pose is a really nice one to lengthen the whole spine. And your head just gets to rest down. Think about crawling your fingertips forward, pulling with your fingertips, lengthening through your arms, and then sinking your tailbone heavy behind you towards your toes. You can go knees wider if that feels nicer. You've got 10 seconds here and we're all done. And last three, two, and one beautiful oh, i feel so relaxed now hopefully you guys enjoyed that stretch today so if you did like it make sure you like and subscribe and i'll be releasing another video every week so stay tuned for those i'll see you next time bye